Cheers and welcome to Cooking with Mo Wino. Today is day 62 of our self-isolation. So uh, trying to keep the meals fun and inventive. So what better uh, dish to drink, cook wine for but Coco Vaughn. So I have cut up a chicken, which will be part of a different video. And I have been prepping uh, the parts of the Coco Vaughn before uh, we start really filming. But one of the things I have done, oh, cheers, is I have salt and peppered my cut chicken and patted it dry. Patted it dry, then salt and peppered it. And now I'm going to cook all of this amazing amounts of chicken um, in bacon fat that I have already cooked in my Dutch oven. So I'm going to do that process and then bring you back in so that uh, we can enjoy it together. So we are back and we have all of the layers ready for our cocoa vent. Uh, cheers. I've been in the kitchen for four hours and I've made four different dishes back to back and in between. So it's been a little confusing. So now we have our Dutch oven where we uh, cooked our bacon and where we seared off our chicken skin. So we have some good drippings here now um, in the pot. Some, that's one big layer of flavor. So I'm now going to add a bunch of carrots chopped into about one and a half inch pieces. I purposely did not use... Um, baby carrots because I wanted the thick carrots because they're going to go in the oven and I thought the baby carrots would cook too fast. So, just sort of going to scrape some of this up, get these carrots to absorb the, the layering. Them. And then I have one sliced yellow onion, again in half moon shapes. Again, another layer of flavor, flavor to this great dish. And you know, it really is an easy dish, but there's just a lot of preparation before you finally put it in the oven and relax. Okay. So I'm going to let these just sort of simmer for a few minutes and we'll be back. Our carrots and onions have been soaking up the yumminess of the chicken and bacon fat. So now, I am going to add back our bacon in, and I'm going to add in about a cup of pearl onions that are from the freezer. Um, sometimes when I make this dish, I'll use cipollini onions, but truthfully, they are so much of a pain to um, peel. I mean, I'm sure there's a professional way to do it, but... Anyway, I don't particularly like it. Um, now I'm gonna put in a heaping teaspoon of garlic. Again, I'm using my favorite garlic jar, even though I have fresh garlic around. I'm gonna show you this, because it looks just too good not to. Here are our vegetables all simmering away and uh, a delicious, delicious uh, bacon and chicken and uh, aromas of garlic and onions and carrots. Amazing. So we have now our seared chicken breasts. Now chicken, whole chicken, cut into pieces. Now it's not done. I just seared it off. So uh, I'm going to now put them into pot here, the Dutch oven, nestling them on top of these great vegetables. Okay. 
apparently this is a, um, I think a three and a half quart um, Dutch oven. I think I needed it a five quart. This was a pretty big chicken. <laughs> All right, I think I got a few pieces. I'm gonna save out and use them for chicken cacciatore. We wanna make sure we get the pan juices into the pot. You know, that's a, one of the main things. When you sear any kind of meat or poultry, you want those drippings to come back in with them. So, this chicken is nestled in here lovely. Now the goodness starts. Uh, a third of a cup of cognac. And those of you who know me know that this is a house of cavassier. No substitutions there. And now we want to add basically a half a bottle of our wine. It is, after all, Coke Um I am drinking here a lovely Rhone, Cote de Rhone uh, wine. And I'm not going to butcher the name, but I'll show it to you. This is a really economical bottle of wine. Um, and uh, I bought it at my grocery store, but I discovered it at the Thai restaurant near my house. This is the house wine. They have a, a red, a, a white, and a rosé, and it's all made by Monsieur Chapote. Who knows? Anyway, that's all in. Um, and just to give it some more broth, we're gonna add uh, a cup of chicken broth and yes this is from my box because we're on day 62 of home stay at home to save lives and doing a lot of cooking I can't make that much broth <laughs> so we've been doing box broths but it's low sodium so just make sure you do that and we have the oven set at 250 now this is a personal thing. I have here about a pound of cremini mushrooms that are quartered. I always like to add my mushrooms toward the end of cooking because I want the mushrooms to keep their integrity. So a half hour before um, this is prepared to cook, this is about 90 minutes at 2.50, um, I'll probably add these mushrooms in. timer for 60 minutes and we will check it and then we will add our mushrooms and we will also thicken the broth. Cheers. Simmering away the final stages of cocoa Yum.